Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at a very exclusive 2024 Lexus IS 500 F Sport Premium. Huge shout out to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this for me today. Definitely take a look at their website. That link is down in the description. But the IS 500 behind me has the special appearance package. It is finished off in blue vector, which is only available on 150 IS 500s. MSRP is just shy of $69,000. And this is powered by the 5 liter naturally aspirated V8. It's paired to an 8 speed automatic transmission, pumping out 472 horsepower, 395 pound feet of torque. That power is sent to the rear wheels, propelling this 3,900 pound sedan from 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. It has a top speed of 149 miles an hour. It also has a fuel capacity of 17.4 gallons. You'll expect to see around 17 miles per gallon in the city, 25 out on the highway. This also has a wheelbase of 110.2 inches. Its overall length is 187.3. It has a width of 72.4 and a height of 56 and a half inches. As we move on to the exterior styling now for this IS 500, let's start off with the hourglass design for the grill up front. For this premium model, it's finished off in gloss black along with the surround separating it from that blue vector. Great color combo for this model. Now the Lexus badge is also the forward sensor. There's a camera just above that, along with parking sensors that run throughout. And this does have a set of LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals with that triple beam design for the headlights and high beams, and then the very crisp point for that DRL and turn signal. I like the bodywork that goes all the way to the point of that hourglass design as well. And then for the hood, there are four distinctive lines, two in the middle and then two on the edges there to give it more of a sporty look along with all the gloss black in the lower section and the cutouts as well to provide a lot more cooling to that V8 engine. Now for this special appearance package, it is roughly $3,600. It gives you the blue vector exterior paint along with the 19 inch matte black BBS forged wheels. They have a very nice multi-spoke design to them. There's the Lexus brake calipers just behind that finished off in black as well as the F Sport badge behind that. The side mirrors have a camera as well as the turn signal finished off in gloss black. All the window trim is blacked out and then the lower side skirt has more gloss black to it. So really the wheels and the paint are the two biggest things for this package. This also gets smart access card key, unique floor mats, and all of the interior blue stitching a part of that package. But this blue looks fantastic for the F Sport model. I love the lines in the lower section too just adding to that side appearance. Now in back, this has a small gloss black trunk mounted spoiler, LED taillights with the bar that goes right through the trunk. There's a backup camera, all the sensors, more gloss black, and then the uneven stacked dual exhaust on both sides, which we'll take a listen to here in just a little bit. As we work our way to the cargo space now, you can use the button up underneath or the one on the key fob itself. And for a practical family style sedan, there's a spare tire up underneath the floor. You can also fold down the back seats too if you need that much more space. And this particular model also has the additional cargo net that you can add as needed. There's tie down hooks down below too. So definitely plenty of space. There's a grab handle up top so you can easily close that. Very lightweight trunk lid. And then as we work our way to the back seats, door panel is pretty simple. There's a nice brush trim accent surrounding the window control, blue stitching, a part of that package. Speaker is located down below. And then you'll notice more of the blue stitching works its way to the leather seats in the back. And at five foot 10, I have a good bit of space. Even with the front seat set at my height, you'll notice blue piping for those floor mats. There's a storage pocket behind both front seats, air vents in the middle there. And then right in the middle, if you don't have a center passenger, we have the armrest along with two cup holders that you can use. And as far as headroom goes, my head is just almost up against the headliner, but I can actually sit upright and still be comfortable. So it's kind of tight, but it also is spacious too, as far as being able to sit here very comfortably. So I could definitely ride around in the back with two other people. And then pretty easy to get out as we make our way to the front door. 
We have that same trim accent surrounding all the window controls along with the side mirror adjustments. There's memory seating controls for the driver's seat and then you do get storage for the front door panel. F-Sport is also down on the door sill and then we have the same design for these front seats. A little bit more lateral support to them and all the automatic adjustments are down on the side. Now as we work our way to the steering wheel, it's covered in solid and perforated leather with the F-Sport badge down below. On this right side, there's a lane keeping assist along with the distance pacing. Cruise control is the lower stock there. There's also paddle shifters too. Left side, you have Bluetooth and voice commands, volume and tuning for the radio. Now let's fire this back up. Take a listen to that V8. And then coming back to the gauge cluster, you can go through a lot more info using the arrows on the right side of the steering wheel. So for the current setup, engine temperature is on the left side, right side there's also the fuel level too, and then you can go through some info within that tack just by scrolling up or down. So you have a few vitals that you can monitor and look at as needed. Now you can also shift the entire tack to the right by pushing on this button right here. So once I do that, now we can also go through a little bit more information on that right side. So there's some of the same info that you saw within the TAC, but now we can even go through all of these settings here for all of the standard safety features. So if you wanna go through a little bit more, you have the option to do that. You can even pull up a G-Force. You have a few others, like I mentioned, that you can look at. So it is nice, just depending on what you need to look at for the day. Now on this left side, we have a lot of controls. There's the hood release, lift gate release. There's also a view button. This is going to work the 360 camera system and you actually have two different angles. So you have this angle here and then you can even switch it to this one here. So when you're sitting in the parking lot about to leave, you can push on that just to double check nothing is around you. Now also over on this side, we do have a rear sunshade control. So simply push that and you can raise and lower the sunshade in the rear. There's also the automatic headlights and some dimmer switches for the gauges. Now there's one air vent. We have more of the blue stitching and leather up on the gauge cluster there. And then for the infotainment system in the middle, this is a touchscreen system, or you can use the controls down below where there's map, menu, a back button. We have the Lexus trackpad and a control just behind that. So currently the navigation is shown. I can also push on this button down below and you can have a split screen. So if you wanna look through some of this additional information and you still want the nav on that left side, you can bring that up. But if I push on menu down below, now we can scroll through, go into projection, which is how you can pair your phone to the system. There's apps that you can go into as well and update as needed. And then you can even look at phone, audio, and you have all of your climates that you can easily get into. So it's a nice system to use, not a ton of information. And then underneath that, there's a clock with an air vent on both sides. And then we have some climate adjustments. So we have the temperature dials that you can use when you have this system on, you can easily adjust that. And then we have defrosters, recirc, and the rest of those controls. There's power and volume for the radio as well as tuning. And this 24 model still has a CD player. So you have a few controls for that underneath along with some radio adjustments too. Now these front seats are also heated and ventilated. There's a heated steering wheel. And then on this right side, there's a few different driving modes. So by twisting on that, the tack will actually change. So there's Sport S and Sport S Plus. We also have a normal setting and Eco as well. And they will adjust over on that far right side too, just so you can see that further. Now this rear wheel drive Lexus has a snow mode along with traction control and auto hold. If we put it into reverse, there's the backup camera along with two different guidelines. And then we have drive and the manual setting as well. So you can shift using the shifter or the paddle shifters. Now there's two cup holders over on this right side. And then for the armrest, you have additional auxiliaries and a good bit of space along with the storage over on the club box. And then up top, there's some garage door buttons underneath the rear view mirror. We have the sunshade and sunroof adjustments. We have the manual adjustment for the shade itself and then the rest of the sunroof controls. 
Pillars in the back are very thin too, so it's easy to see over the left shoulder and then just as easy to peek over that left side. As we set off now behind the wheel for the IS 500 F Sport, I've been able to drive this car before, but I really wanted to take a look at this one because of the exterior color. I'm a huge fan of blue. I have never seen this color on really any Lexus before, and I think it looks very, very sharp, especially with all the blue stitching for the interior as well. So aside from that appearance package for this limited production of this blue vector, everything else is identical to any other IS 500 F Sport. So let's put it into Sport Plus and downshift a few gears. And listen to that naturally aspirated V8. I think that's why a lot of people do like the IS500 because it doesn't have a turbo or a smaller engine. It's got that NAV8 that a lot of people do enjoy. It's going to be more reliable from what people have said to compared to some of the other hybrid and turbo systems. But Lexus is incorporating those in other vehicles too, so maybe at some point the IS500 will adapt to one of those newer engines but even for 2024, we still get the five liter V8. So if you are interested in that motor with this vehicle, 24 could be the last year. I could be wrong with that, but it definitely sounds good and it drives very nice too. The F Sport suspension or the F Sport package also does provide it with an upgraded suspension. And so it feels very nice. It corners great. This is a great vehicle that you can daily drive. Now, I've said this in other IS500 and really any other Lexus model that has the F-Sport package. I would like to see the F-Sport package incorporate more power. It's kind of just the suspension and a few other cosmetics. This one has the special appearance package, so it gives it even more. But I would like to see the F-Sport package actually add some power like some other competitors. BMW has their M versions or their M cars that actually have either a different engine or an increase in power compared to the standard versions. So that is one thing that I would like to see and maybe if they do an upgraded engine, go with a twin turbo hybrid setup, something like that, it can actually incorporate some more power. Not to say this doesn't have a healthy amount. I think it's, it's a good bit and it sounds great too, but it would be nice to see that for the F Sport. It's not crazy loud either, so it, it's a well-refined Lexus that gives you that that uh, some of that noise that you want to hear under acceleration. But as we come around another right turn, it's so planted. It is a vehicle that you can take on back roads, you could take it to the track, and it's going to perform like what you would expect for a sports car or a sports sedan. Now, I wouldn't say it's overly competitive as far as being a true performance vehicle, but you do get that power, you get the suspension with the F-Sport, so it has some of those handling characteristics without going crazy overboard and still something that you can definitely daily drive. And in a Sport Plus second gear, here we go. A Little bit of a delay in those shifts but I wasn't getting on it that much. So maybe a harder acceleration would give you a little bit quicker of a shift, but you can't get over how that V8 sounds in this car. Definitely nice to hear when you're behind the wheel of a Lexus for sure. But this is what it's like to be behind the wheel for the IS 500 F Sport. We have the forward camera that you can set on automatic. So that way it will pop up in those slower situations. I'm almost having to raise my voice a little bit over that exhaust note. It, it, it is a little bit loud, which I think is great. But this is what it's like to be behind the wheel. I will say it, it does kind of give off an, an old school vibe to this. We have the NA engine, which is a little old school. We don't have a lot of tech on the interior. We have a CD player, which is definitely going back to even uh, my younger days. But I still think it is a nice interior. It's it's something that you can use every day, not an overcomplicated amount of controls. And so if you're looking for something fairly simple, but it gives you everything, it's definitely a good option to go with. Not to say that it doesn't look good. Some of it is still a little bit dated, but I think it does give it a, a fairly nice interior. And we have a lot of other controls that you can go through. So 
it's it's a sports sedan not a sports sedan it's got characteristics to handle and it has some power it's kind of a blend in the middle you get a lexus so you get something that's going to be very reliable you have a naturally aspirated v8 which again is going to be very reliable so it's something that is going to give you the reliability factor and just gives you a little bit of bump in some of the performance so i think it's definitely a good combination to go with it's going to make for a great daily driver it's super comfortable even with the suspension I don't have any complaints with it good visibility overall and it's just something that would be a great to have if you're looking for a luxury brand and something with this style and type of performance to it and we also have the different driving modes. so if I want to put it into eco and get a little bit less throttle response you want to save on some of the mpg it actually has a significant difference so in eco mode if we go down to third gear not going to have quite as much power as sport or sport s plus and so it's nice that you do have those differences there and that is going to wrap it up for this 2024 lexus is 500 f sport premium once again, a huge shout out to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this for me today. Definitely take a look at their website. That link is down in the description. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.